Hi, thanks for choosing this video to watch. Uh, today, I'm going to be soldering a module for my synthesizer. Uh, it's a DIY kit I ordered from Electric Druid. And I wanted to do a short little video on how to put together your workspace to make it the most efficient and pleasing. So, um, first off, you need to have a, a, a bright white tablecloth underneath everything uh, just to make it uh, a little classy, right? But also, to protect your tablecloth, you need to have some sort of a placemat. So I've chosen this pumpkin placemat because of the, uh, you know, the harvest season. Also, to provide some autumn flair, I've chosen to put a little uh, centerpiece together with, with leaves from the backyard. And it's probably not a great idea to put these next to the, the, la the light, I mean the, the candle. But I did choose a candle for just some ambient light, just some mood lighting. And uh, I, you probably can't see this, but I, I've, I've also chosen um, the, the best scented incense stick for today's work, just to cover up the smell of the solder, because it, it can be a little unpleasant. So I just put that right there. And... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the camera a little closer so you can see what I've assembled here. Each one of these packets has components that were listed on the oopsie daisies on the bill of materials that Electric Druid sent, or actually it's on their website. So each one of these packets has uh, components listed here, and I put a little check mark next to it when I actually did find that on the Mauser website. I'm keeping them all in their little packets so I don't confuse them. Also some of these packets are ESD safe. You see this little packet here, the sticker here. But um, you don't want to expose them to electrostatic discharge because that would damage the components. So the, uh, the package it came in from Tom Melcher at Electric Druid, and it came all the way from uh, Portugal to the Estados Unidos. And uh, in that package came the PCB that he designed, and I also ordered on the website these pots that um, I just, I have trouble ordering potentiometers that fit. <laughs> so he offers these that fit exactly the way they should. So I did that. Also, no, not these. Where are they? Here. These are the chips that go here, here, and here. These are important. You need to order these if you decide you want to build this module too. So, also, he provides uh, uh, plans for making a stop box. He actually created this. You see how it fits here and here is supposed to fit right into a project box and the stomp pedals go here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make uh, a synthesizer module. So I'm going to use my own piece of aluminum that I made sure fit <laughs> exactly. And But I'm also going to use his uh, the plans he, he designed for his little stomp box. And, I'm going to drill the holes exactly where these need to be, except for the stop switches, right? So I'm just going to cut that out and then make sure these fit. Uh, just to make a point, if you decide to do this, uh, don't make the mistake that I did. Printed out the PDF and it was not the right size. It was mysteriously, this is the correct size. It fits right there. See, But the first one was too small. How come? Here's how come. If the last time you printed a PDF, you wanted your image to fill the sheet of paper, you selected the fit selection. Don't do that. Select the actual size. And you see it's at 100%. And it will print exactly the size you want. So that's that. And also, because I have this empty space here, I'm also going to fit a little mixer. This is a PCB of my own design that I ordered from OSH Park. 
and uh, I did not decide to make the kind of potentiometers that poke through the the PCB. I don't. That's I can't explain why. So I decided to do these instead. The wires are really long. I'm probably gonna have to cut these short just because it's it's messy. This looks like a big old squid. But I'm gonna put that here. So I made my own little template on my computer. I'm gonna cut that out and drill the holes there. So that's what we're gonna do. Just to see if this is going to fit in here. Yes, it will. And then this is going to fit right through here. So, that. Very nice. And then these will fit through here like that. Right? Okay, good. Electric Druid provides some very clear and cogent instructions for building this digital delay. I'll be following them and showing the highlights in fast motion. And obviously I wanted to note that I won't be using a tablecloth. I'm using the grounded workstation and there's my little wrist strap there as you can see. How about a little music to accompany this up close soldering?
I wanted to take a short time out to discuss reading values of capacitors. As you see on this package, this one's rated at 47 microfarads. It's indicated right there in the description field. But on this package, in the description field, nothing. But up there in the part number, you can see it, those three numbers there, 104, that is the indication. It's actually printed on the capacitor itself too. What that means is it's 10 with four zeros behind it, which actually means 100,000 picofarads equaling 100 nanofarads. The way to test it is to get out the trusty transistor tester, which also tests capacitors, and you'll see on the screen it reads almost 100 nanofarads, which is just fine for me. That is a trusty tool, by the way. I recommend buying one. They're kind of cheap. It's cheaper to buy one of those and test all your parts first, that's for sure.
Hi, I just wanted to add one more thing to the end of this video. Uh, first of all, thank you for watching. I had fun doing it. I hope you enjoyed it yourself. Also, I wanted to mention that I'm growing this mustache because I'm participating in the Men's Health Awareness Raising uh, Campaign in November, sponsored by the Movember Foundation. Uh, basically, what they do is uh, discuss men's health awareness or men's health issues uh, on their website, movember.com, and then direct people to charities that support those issues, like um, testicular cancer, mental health issues, that kind of thing. So, uh, I'll be shaving this off in a few days. This is being recorded on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, but my mojo won't be gone. I'll return to make more electronics videos for you. Mm -hmm.